What's up guys? Justin here with the CGessentials.com. So in today's video, we're going to talk about the way that, the ways that we can use the warp modifier in order to warp our mesh between two different points. This gets really interesting because you can also use this to animate things like waves in your objects, other things like that. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so first off, let's add something that we can warp that's fairly simple. So we can just do a shift A and we can just add a plane. So I'm going to move a plane in here. I'm going to scale it up like this. Then I'm going to tab into edit mode, right click, and I'm going to subdivide it. You could do this with the subdivision surface modifier as well. I'm just making sure I have geometric detail in here that this can, uh, that this can actually move around. And so what this modifier does, and let's make sure that we apply our rotation and scale, this modifier is basically going to allow you to add a modifier to our object. So in this case, we want to select the option for warp. And notice how that gives us an option for warp object from and warp object to. So basically what that does is that allows us to set two different points. So let's say we were to do a shift A, actually let's set our 3D cursor here, but then let's add an empty right here. I'm gonna duplicate that and add another empty over here. And we're probably gonna go ahead and rename these. So I'm gonna call this warp two. I'm gonna call the other one warp from because we're gonna select them from a list in a second. And so then we just need to select those inside of our modifier. So warp from, warp to. And so notice when we do that, and we could jump into solid mode to see this a little bit better. Notice when we do that, what that's doing is that's taking this uh, mesh and it's warping it so that the geometry around this area right here where our uh, from is, is being warped towards the two object. And so there's a few different things you can do to customize this. So the first is you can adjust the strength. So how strong that warp is, as well as you can set the fall off. And so your fall off is going to set your diameter around your from object and your to object along which this is this warp is occurring. And so if I move this around, notice what's happening is the warp is moving along with this because this is live because it's a modifier. So if I move it up or down, then I'm getting a more or less pronounced result. Um, the other interesting thing about this is if you were to select both of these, the from and the to, like this, and move them, notice how what's happening in here is the actual warp on your surface is moving around along with your object. So you can use this in order to do some really interesting things with your shapes like this. Let's say, for example, that we wanted to get a little bit more complex with this. Well, there's an option in here for texture. And so when we select the option for texture, what that's going to do is that's going to let us um, add an image in here that's going to drive the deformation of this shape, right? Because right now it's just kind of a smooth hill that's happening in here. But if we were to add a texture, so if we were to click on new and then click on the little button right here for show texture and texture tab, that's going to give us the ability to use a texture for our deformation. So for example, if I click the drop down in here, I can select things like noise or distorted noise. So if I select noise in here, notice what that's going to do is that's going to use a noise texture in order to set our deformation. So we could use the noise, we could use the Vornois, we could really use whichever one of these we want, but notice how we can adjust how this image is created using the settings right here. So this gives us a lot of control over the texture that we can create. And so one cool thing about this is it's not super interesting if you just move this top part around. I mean, I guess it is a little bit because we could do some kind of fun stuff with that warp. But if you move them both around like this, you can use this in, or in order to animate kind of a wave moving across your object in this 3D space like this. So you could also keyframe it. So for example, let's say that I was to move this over like this and I was to keyframe the location of these objects like this. Now, if I play this animation, notice how I get this moving wave texture inside of my scene like this. So we can keyframe the warp in here in order to create a lot of different effects. So leave a comment below. Let me know how you're using the warp modifier. I just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.